In W231 this week, we are going to explore the press release as a, a form of professional communication. This is a document that uh, is released by an organization and shared with media outlets, including newspapers, uh, television and radio stations, as well as uh, other media outlets. I'm going to ask you to write a short press release uh, describing an event for your assignment this week. First, we can consider the basic purposes of the press release. Um, there's a range of reasons for this. Uh, mainly, it's to give publicity for an upcoming event um, or to announce a new product or service for the organization to uh, provide kind of free advertising, um, as it were. But also, it can include um, daily company inf uh, operations and changes within those things. For instance, if a company has a new location for its headquarters or is moving a production facility, they might share that news in a press release. Uh, also, if there's a change in leadership within an organization or company, that might be shared there as well. If there's a shift in company policy or focus, that might be uh, noted and shared within a release. And uh, one place where we see the press release used um, uh, sometimes quite effectively is with earnings reports, um, where a company's earnings for a quarter or for a year are shared with uh, the larger public. Uh, new partnerships or working relationships can be shared within a press release. Um, and also, if an organization has particular social or uh, cultural initiatives, a, a charitable project that the organization is heading or is donating a, a large sum of money to, those might be noted in a press release. You can think here about how a, a company like Apple Computers uh, shares its news of new products or services or sometimes how they report their earnings. Um, all these things are, 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 are good reasons for releasing uh, the information through the press release. Uh, one thing to remember with the release itself is that it, it, it informs the public and not only real but potential investors, uh, not only real but p potential customers um, too. So you're going to have a more generalized audience for the press release. And one thing here that an organization can do with the release is that it can refocus or redefine bad news. Quite often you see this with earnings reports that a, if a company hasn't profited um, as much or it has lost money in a particular quarter or year, they will uh, offer a press release that before those earnings are announced that, that show that they anticipated that um, shortcoming in terms of goals and get, they give reasons for why or how they knew the, the um, earnings goals were not met. That way it gives them the opportunity of showing that they are uh, kind of in control of, of what's going on with the, the, the company's general direction and work. In terms of the organization of the document itself, again, reconsider your audience here that you're going to have a more generalized readership. So sometimes you might have to introduce some aspects of the company's work or focus to that readership. Um, be very focused in your presentation. In terms of this assignment, I'm going to ask you to, to, to focus it all within one page maximum here. Uh, note essential information uh, in order of importance. Uh, be very focused in your paragraphing and put those paragraphs in a, a decreasing order of importance. So the most important information should be in the first paragraph, the second paragraph, the a little bit less important information all the way down to the least important information in the final paragraph. Uh, in terms of that information itself, uh, remember the old newspaper reporter's five W's here, the who, what, where, when, and why of the event or the happening. Um, be sure to report on those basic things. Uh, within the press release itself. For instance, if you have an event, be sure you include the date and location in the very first paragraph of the press release. Uh, also, in terms of, of, the, of your content here, remember that it's going to be edited by other readers and media outlets, that they're going to represent uh, the information that you've shared within the release. Um, so, so give the most uh, important news first within the release so that those things can be highlighted uh, by potential readers or editors. You might want to think about what kinds of essential information you'd be sharing here if you were posting this or reposting this in social media outlets like Facebook and Twitter. What essential information needs to be highlighted in that opening paragraph here? 
In terms of formatting the press release, um, note that within the assignment here, I'm not going to really uh, grade on formatting. I'm going to grade mainly on content and organization here. So uh, these are general things to remember. Uh, use company letterhead uh, within uh, for, for the press release itself, and be sure to include your contact information, your organizational email and phone number here, uh, so that uh, media representatives can contact you with further questions regarding this news. Um, include a headline here to define uh, the focus. Uh, put that in bold print at the top. You can see the example in the textbook here uh, to show you exactly how to do this. Also include the date and place of the announcement within the first uh, line of the press release. Again, see the example. Or in news reports, you'll often see the place of where the event occurred is highlighted within the very first line of the reporting. Um, so be sure to include that information there as such. Uh, utilize focused paragraphs to present the information. Again, you can use shorter paragraphs here. Just be sure that they're subject-centered. And uh, in your conclusion, you want to include uh, the journalistic marker, either the number or sign or the hashtag and or uh, the n or or the uh, number thirty within dashes. That's just a simple uh, newspaper um, convention that shows that you have reached the end of the information that's being shared. Uh, you can double space this as journalistic pieces often are when they're written out for ease of reading. Uh, generally, in in professional writing, you single space everything. But again, here I'm not going to grade on the formatting, so uh, uh, just focus on the content and organization of the press release. Thank you.